composition of matter. So we have rows and columns. So let's say we have something like this. So this is a matrix and we have, let's see, two, two rows. So one, zero, one is one row. Negative three, one, two is another row. And Maybe now that we get the pattern, I don't have to write everything. 
every single thing out but let me write like our actual answer now so this first term here is going to be zero because of our calculation right here so this is going to be zero so just multiplying corresponding terms and then adding those products together so the next term will be here and we're going to take this row still with this next column and do the same thing so one times two is two so i'll just write that um here i don't know like i guess at this point we're gonna do like scratch paper right so one times two is two plus zero times one is zero nice plus and then one times three is three. So what is two plus zero plus three? That would be five. And that is our next term. Okay, so that is five here. And then lastly, we do the same row with the next column, just right here. Same dealio. So uh, one, so this term here would be one times two is two plus zero times five is zero plus one times one is one so two plus zero plus one is three exactly and that is it right so i'm kind of keeping track so this this row by this column multiplying corresponding terms and adding that together so in this case it's zero and then we got five and then we got three now as you might guess we'll do the next row so the next row versus the same three columns again so then we do this so now it just looks like i highlighted <laughs> everything but that's basically what we're doing so now we do negative three times negative one which is positive three because a negative times a negative is positive, and three times one is three, plus one times zero, so one times zero is zero, two times one is two, and I add those together, so three plus zero plus two is five, so that'll be this first term. Then the same row by this column, negative three times two is negative six, one times one is one, two times three is six, add those together, negative six and the six cancel, like those are zero plus one, so that's just one, and then the same dealio for this last bit, negative three times two is negative six, one times five is five, two times one is two, add those together, negative six plus five is negative one, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. Very nice. And that is it. That's, that's as simple as that. So I know it looks like a lot. It sounds like a lot, but the pattern is actually always the same. You just go row by row of your first matrix and you multiply each corresponding term for each column and you multiply corresponding terms and you add those together and that will give you uh, the number to put in each of those like those corresponding spots okay so as you can see our answer our answer so this is the answer to this our answer is a two by three a two by three matrix and so the pattern is that so you can't just multiply any two matrices you have to have the number of columns of the first matrix needs to equal the number of rows of your second matrix so basically this number needs to equal this number so that because we're multiplying remember they all have to line up so the row by the column so those need to have the same number of terms otherwise they're not going to line up right so the number of one two three here is actually the number of columns and the number of rows is going to be the number of numbers going down this way so this needs to be able to line up with this so since those 
is the same as the first number of the second matrix, it's okay. And what you'll notice is that the answer is going to be K by M, so that, like, those middle numbers kind of go away in a way, but it ends up being K by M. So in this case, 2 by 3 by 3 by 3 is just a 2 by 3 in this case. So it would be a K by M, K being the number of rows by the number of columns of the second matrix, okay? So from there, I think it's just about practicing, uh, be patient with just multiplying each thing, adding them together. From there, it really is uh, calculations, which I know is totally tedious at first, but that's also why when we did like um, representing systems of linear equations, we multiplied by our uh, x, y, z, for instance, right? Our variables going this way. Because if we wrote, I'm just going to make one up right now, but like if we wrote, um, I don't even know if this is solvable, but uh, let's see, negative 2, 5, eight or something. If we were to multiply this out using what we just did, we are basically taking this row by this column. So one times x plus two times y plus five z. That's what we got. And then equals whatever number, right? Like, I don't know, one, two, three. What we did was this row by this column. So that's why these numbers are the coefficients of these variables. So 2 times x plus 3 times y plus 4 times z would equal to negative 2x plus 5y plus 8z equals 3. See that? So we kind of snuck this in there when we kind of mentioned this before. But now you know why. So I hope that this was nice review if you happen to be learning this stuff or just kind of cool to play around with. Um, even if you've never learned about matrices, this could be fun uh, sort of calculation and it just kind of takes it to another level to multiply and add together and kind of keep track of the position of stuff. So anyways, um, I hope that this was relaxing and we can work more with matrices.